guys, welcome back to The Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing a unboxing video. I got a parcel from Pop Culture in the Post from Dan and an Australian mate. I apologise to any Australians I've offended with that accent because it is rubbish. And um, yeah, I can see it's packed by Robbie from Australia. So yeah, really cool. I ordered this two a, a week ago, I dispatched it Monday and it turned up Friday so that's fantastic today of recording this video is Saturday so I'm gonna open this now I've just done my Comic-Con haul video as well guys check that out that'll be up before this I've got some really dynamite stuff and this is gonna to add to that dynamite stuff right now I'm telling you that so I'm gonna crack this open don't need to see my address actually I'm gonna crack this open and we're gonna see what we've got inside all right guys box is open I'm gonna look it and show you one by one oh that looks beautiful that really does I've got some good stuff I really did this I managed to get for a steal I think I paid, what, £12? £12. For a summer 2016 convention exclusive, this is the oldest convention exclusive I have, Violet Beauregard as a big blueberry from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't know why I liked this. As soon as I clicked on the website, it was on like the sale bit, and I thought, hang on, I've never seen that before. I'm gonna buy it. So I've got this Charlie and Chocolate Factory Willy Wonka. Well, Willy Wonka, and the Chocolate Factory actually. I thought it was Charlie and Chocolate Factory, so you learn something every day. 2016 Summer Convention exclusive, great pop. I haven't got any of the others in the set. I'd like to get Willy Wonka actually, but this is a great pop. I saw it, liked it, and now I've got it, and it's gonna make a fine addition to my inbox collection. And then the next one I picked up, guys, is the First Doctor, full conventions exclusive. Again, I think I paid about 11 pounds for this. So that's fantastic. I, I cannot argue with these prices. These are going for about 20. I saw this going for about 25 to 30 pounds at Comic Con. Expensive, I know, but I've got a really good deal on it. And I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I have most of the Doctor Who pops now, to be honest. And I'd say, like, apart from variants, I've got nearly all of them. So, yeah, this is going to make a great addition to my inbox collection. The first Doctor, great pop. I love it. Then, guys, they had this on the sale as well for about 11 quid. I picked up. Shane Walsh from The Walking Dead. This is the um, Funko 2016's New York Comic Con Limited Edition. So a great pop, something that I was not gonna find here in the UK very easily. And um, I've seen it before. I have seen it before. I think I saw it at Comic-Con once when it first came out for about 30. So 11 is something that I'm more in the rings of pain. So I'm really, really glad I managed to pick this pop up. It's fantastic. And it's gonna make a great addition to my popped collection. Now guys, the number one pop I picked up, right? After seeing this film in the cinema, and now it's out on Blu-ray, it's been out a while and I've watched it back and I've realized he's one of the greatest characters in Marvel. One of my favorite, one of my favorite actors. I really do like this actor after watching more and more of his movies. And I really regret not picking this um, convention exclusive pop up. It's a um, 2017 full conventions exclusive. I've seen it on my toy hunts. Um, I've seen it on my pop hunts at the Disney store and stuff for 15 and I've passed up on it. And now it goes for about 30 to 35. And um, it is the Grandmaster from Thor Ragnarok. And I really regret it because this is such a great character and Jeff Goldblum is just the best. I think he's such a great human being and I think he's fantastic. And I brought this in the hope that one day he will be at a con and I can get him to sign it. So this was a really good buy for me. When I saw this, I thought I'm having the Grandmaster. I brought all four of those. Now, I paid what? I think it worked out about 40 something pounds shipped which is really good for all four of these pops like because they're always conventions exclusive so you're all look you're looking these are were 15 at retail here in the uk so now you're looking at about 25 to 30 pound retail here in the uk because they're a bit rarer so i really got a steal with these pops so check out check out them guys i heard that you'd have to pay customs but luckily the size of the box they sent me you saw i didn't have to pay a penny so that was great obviously i paid shipping but i didn't pay any international tax or customs which is even better and i got four great pops so guys out of all these convention exclusive pops I picked up here from pop culture down in Australia so check them out please I'll link their website below so you guys can check it out and it all converts to English nicely and it's very easy to do which one was your favorite which one would you have picked up if you'd have had the option um, I'm gonna drop them so I'm gonna I was probably going to drop them so I put them down. Uh, I don't want the boxes damaged because they turn up in pristine condition. Actually, they turned up faster than Pop in a Box, a space in the UK, and I ordered them from Australia. And they turned up in better condition than they would from Pop in a Box. So Pop in a Box, if Pop, if, um, pop Culture can do it down in Australia, you can do it here. So sort it out. But anyway, enough of that. 
guys, let me know in the comments what ones you would have picked up. Let me know if you like all of those pops, which ones you wish you had in your collection, or which ones you already have in your collection. Let me know. Hit that like button if you'd like to see more videos like this. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and my Facebook page. I am running a competition for my Facebook page, but check out my Facebook page to see details on that competition. I will be doing a video in the future for that. And, um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. That really does help me when you hit that subscribe button. It just makes me feel good when you subscribe to the channel because that makes me feel like you're enjoying the video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well because that will help me as well. So, um, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.